Right, we have unlocked the Umbrella Leaf, and now they're throwing off catapult zombies and bungee zombies at us. Hmm. Well, here goes. Oh, I think I remember. I think I remember how I usually would build this setup now. And I think it might take a, it might be taking a little longer than usual, but it yields more sound than ever before. Now, of course, we first need to establish the first line, as, as usual. And now deal with the incoming zombies. The first line has been established. Now I want to see, wait and see what shows up next, right? <laughs> and there is another zombie, right, perfect. <laughs> it's coming together all too nicely. Oh. I didn't mean for you zombies to come together in my uh, house. There we go. Right. So now we have a line of cabbages. And we have all the sunflowers we wanted. Now we can start placing down the umbrella leaves. Because the umbrella leaves uh, cover a 3x3, three three, if I remember rightly. I am gambling a little bit and hoping I am remembering rightly. There we are. Kind of riding the line here a bit, but that's what we're used to. <laughs> right, so we are coming up on the th on the first of the three waves. So much sun now. And we are only going to gain more sun. Oh no. Wait. <laughs> yes! The umbrella leaf is working. Rendering those bungee zombies at the back useless. I mean, I could place uh, umbrella leaves further up as well, but the the frontline fighters, I feel like they're, they're a little easier to replace. I don't want them to to start uprooting my sun-producing flowers, however, because that's going to mess with my whole economy. Oh, 
I really am enjoying this. Look at these. Look at all these mindless, clueless fuckers walking into their own deaths. I wonder how far can I push the defense? Oh, that one's getting grabbed now. Oh well, I can afford it. And he's replaced. And now we have even more sun in production. <laughs> Do you think any of these zombies woke up today and figured they were gonna get struck on the head by cabbages and corn kernels? Oh wait, it it got frozen by by the butter. Right, the second wave has arrived. And my chumpers are all too ready to face them. Alright. They are overwhelming us somewhat in sheer numbers. seems to be working better. I really shouldn't be worried about the catapult zombies at all because of the uh, umbrella leaves. I have basically rendered them absolutely useless. Feels good to be the king. <laughs> I have no clue what I did differently up here that made that work. Uh, I may have spoke too soon. Perhaps it was just luck. <laughs> right, the last, the last remaining wave is upon us. Big fan of how they drop zombies into the middle of my uh, setup. Oh. But I do appear to be dealing with it quite well. Go ahead, eat that chomper. I'll just replace it. Oh, shit. There we go. Oh, what's this now? A marigold! Gives me silver and gold coins. Oh, it's a money plant! Uh, but silver and gold coins won't help me deal with the zombies in a moment, though. 
I think this is like for for di different different game mode, I guess. Uh, flower pots, sunflower, all of those, all these regulars, and gargantua. He looks a bit beefy. I don't want to meet him. Is that a telephone pole? Uh, I guess this is the uh, the setup we are going for. Because now we don't need uh, the uh, the umbrella leaves. Oh no! I realise now the the rake is gone. I forgot to buy another rake. Relying on that rake, wasn't I? Brains. Well, luckily, the two first zombies appeared on the same lane, saving me some time and sun. That gargantua, or whatever they call him. Hmm. I think maybe I should have brought the chili instead of the uh, cherry bomb. That sort of delivers mass damage all over a single line. I don't have to plant anything close to it, just on the same line. But we will see. I might be. I might be overthinking this. Relax yet. I know what is coming. Right, show me. I see the flag bearer. Bunch of different zombies, but mostly just regulars, yes. There he is! There the fucker is! He appeared. Now, how am I to deal with him? Oh no. 
Oh no. Shit. Oh, get eaten, little one. Oh, God. All right, so the Colonel Pulse are really doing some very important work. Uh, I think this line here is full fits, really. Might be able to kill him actually. If only the cherry bomb would recharge soon enough. Yes! We did it! We killed him! At what cost? Now there's nothing down there to save us. Except for this hulk. No. Oh, a diamond! It's a great price. I'll just sort to the, the good old waiting defense down there for now. I just bind my time with the sun. Oh shit! Damn it! That's a terrible miscalculation on my part. Well, I want to stop them there, dead in their tracks. Like that. Right. Good, 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 good. We do need more sun. Uh, more sun, please. More sun, yes. Alright. That one busy. I'll try and buy some time there. No, nope. that one's forfeit now. Can't do nothing about it either. I don't even know why I did that. Damn it! I'm tilted now. Shit. Stop it with that. Stop doing that shit. Oh no. Oh no. I mean, technically I've already won, because these will trigger these uh, gutter cleaners, roof cleaners, and then die, right? Although it's not a fun way to win, but that is the way. We didn't lose, that's the important part. The melon pult does heavy damage to groups of zombies. This is the one I remembered. Because now it will no longer just damage whatever is in front, as long as I use these. They are expensive as all hell, though. 